we found out about the uh, wheel specialist uh, when I first went into the Manchester branch. I had a Vauxhall Monaro, it wasn't it? I had a very uh, bespoke finish on the wheels from from you, uh, and I'd had an incident with a curb, so. <laughs> Uh, I went down to the branch to have a look uh, and see what they could do for me. Unfortunately, at that precise moment in time, the wheel finish on it was a little bit too complicated. But having seen what they did and having speak, spoken to them, uh, I thought it was quite a professional outfit. And so I decided, and that was the first time we ever knew about the wheel specialist. Eddie and I decided to look into franchising because once we'd actually found um, the wheel specialist, We'd looked a little bit further into it, um, decided, yes, alloy wheel refurbishment is probably the thing for us. That's what we'd like to go into. The fact that the franchising just gave you that little bit extra something. We wouldn't have had to set it up on our own, train ourselves up. That side of it, for me, was really, really beneficial. Prior to um, opening the franchise of the wheel specialist, um, I'd been running an airport transfer show for company for 16 years. So, yeah, I've done that for most of my life. Um, you've had a bit more of a varied, haven't you? Yeah. Before we had the airport transfer business uh, that I joined, I was doing private security maritime, uh, maritime operations off the coast of Somalia and out on the Gulf of Aden. Pirate catching? Yeah, pirate catching, <laughs> preventing ships from getting captured uh, and held for ransom by pirates. Uh, and then before that, I was in the Royal Marines, which I was in for eight years, no, nearly eight years. Uh, and before that, I was a skilled engineer <laughs> for eight years. So I've had quite a, a varied career past. Yes, but all stuff that's really helped to, I, I, to I don't open know. a business yeah, like this, really. I don't know whether really. the pirate catching was Well, maybe helping, not. You know, no, we don't uh, have a lot of pirates around business, here. But, yeah, but definitely the, the background in engineering was a massive help, wasn't yes. it? Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. The business model just, it worked. It worked, every single aspect of it. Um, so that's really why we ended up being part of a franchise. It wasn't something we thought about really beforehand, before we found the wheel specialist. But once we did find it, yeah. Yeah, we considered at the time uh, not going down the uh, franchising route, but it, we, in the long run, we thought it was the better long-term option. Yeah. And also, with starting something that we both had no knowledge of, uh, we thought it was the better route to go down, and it's proven. Um, yeah, it's proven worked definitely <laughs> to be the uh, the right course of action at the time. Yes. With doing this for two years now, just over two just years. Just over two years, yeah. Uh, I think our goals with what we've achieved already in our long-term prospects are to open another one. That's what we'd both like to do. Uh, I think one is another one is definitely realistic. Uh, the person sat next to me, I think, has got aspirations of opening none, another one after that, if, if I'm honest. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so far for us on this journey, it's been, uh, it's been very successful. In all honesty, hasn't it? Yeah, it's hard. There's, there's days that are very, very hard. You've got to work hard. Um, but yeah, the actual outcome, we enjoy coming to work yeah. on a day to day basis, don't we? So yeah. yeah, having another one definitely would be something we would like yeah, to do. Yeah, I eventually. think in the next sort of three to four years' time, I yeah. think opening another one uh, for us uh, would, uh, would be our goals. I think my favourite part of the franchise model is you're part of the team so there's 27 28 other wheel specialist Franchise. franchises plus head office and technical and uh, and it's just it works as a team and the backup that you have uh, and the support on a regular day-to-day yeah. -day basis even with stuff just basic stuff like if powders have gone out of stock we'll get a regular update every every week from head office regarding that so you're always in the loop yeah you're always up to date on. with what's going on you're never really behind uh, anything from what i've experienced so i think the, just the whole sort of team mentality and the relationship we have with head office and, every, and, and everyone 
because you can always phone up another branch if you need help with anything that they might have expertise in phone them up and they'll just be happy to help you out because they know that they would be able to phone you up and you'd return the favour. Yeah. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Owning our own franchise for us has really excelled our personal life. Um, having two young children, the job that I was doing before, the business I was running before meant I was working seven days a week. Um, Saturday afternoons, Sundays, we can switch off from the business. You know, we could come in and do things if we really wanted to at times, but we, it's allowed us to have that, that family, that family work balance. The advice that I personally would give to somebody that was about to start um, a franchise of The Wheel Specialist is um, do your due do diligence. <laughs> Can't get my words out, yeah. Um, I feel that is massively, massively important. We did it a lot, didn't we? And it's really helped us out with location, everything. Everything. Yeah, definitely. It's a big step to make going into opening uh, one of these franchises. But well, we took our time with it, didn't we? Yes. In many respects. Uh, did a lot of investigative work, uh, looking into it and, you know, how it would work out in the future for us. What were the, uh, what were the benefits of it? Uh, where we could be in sort of five, ten years time with the business. It is busy. You are busy. Uh, and there's a lot to take in, uh, a lot of technical. I mean, you do get taught every aspect of what you need to, to do to run the business. But having some knowledge regarding either running a business or technically. Yes, uh, would be advantageous. Yeah, it definitely would be, uh, would be better to start out because we have the knowledge of running a business, but also I'm quite a technical person. So we, we had quite a lot of skills and abilities to bring into, into it. this, didn't we? But yeah. Even still, regarding, regardless of those, uh, it was still a big decision to make and it took a while to set up. It rewarding in the end. The support you receive from head office right from the word go is amazing. Um, every step of the way, so from opening the franchise, you've got shopping lists of things that you have to purchase, yeah. um, they're constantly on the phone, where are we up to with this? Can we help with that? Just everything, right, like I said, right from the offset. They couldn't be more helpful. No, they couldn't, no. they couldn't. Um, when we hit COVID, we'd only been open for five weeks. Um, Ginny, there were emails coming in daily. <laughs> um, this is what you can do, look into that. I know you have to close, but there's this funding available, there's that funding available. Stuff that, I mean, at the time, I went into a bit of a flap. You were dead chilled as you usually are. Um, but the help that we received from head office for me, it, it brought me down. It brought me down. Yes, you can do this. Well, yes, we can do that. Look into this, look into that. Amazing. Every, every day we you are always getting... know that you can pick up a phone. Yes. Regardless yes. of the problem or the dilemma you might have, pick up the phone, phone somebody and somebody will answer. And even if they don't have the answer straight away, they'll go and find the answer for you. It's just so helpful. Yeah, it's yeah. Really they, yeah, they're your backup team constantly. Our roles within the business, uh, well, mine is... We're still very much hands-on. We're still yeah, new. Yeah. Um, like I said, we're just about two, two and a half years into this now. Um, our roles that we're playing now will probably be a lot different in another five years' time. But yeah, for the time being, we're still here full-time. Both very hands-on with everything. Ed's shop floor, diamond cutting, everything. Just, yeah, everything. I tend to work front of house, doing the bookkeeping, um, the meeting and greeting with the customers. But when we've got staff that are absent, I do help out on the shop floor, yeah, doing right. what I can. Yeah, I do try to be very hands-on. Um, yeah, hopefully in time to come that will change. We'll take a little bit more of a back seat, get a manager in here. But for now, we just, we do everything. We both, we both do like cars. Yeah, because if you're going to do something, it may as well be in sort of a field where you like it. Yes, yeah. You know, that's the best idea, so uh, we just, and there was nothing really like this around, was there? No, no, having the chauffeur firm, um, we realised that there was nobody in the area that really did alloy wheel refurbishment to a standard that really we felt was 
needed around here. Well, you, yeah. you know, you had your back street garages that had just taped them up and sprayed them, but... Well, we bought a car for the business, for the airport transfer service, from Mercedes, and the wheels on that lasted... Three months, if that. Oh, not even that, <laughs> I don't think. They were absolutely terrible. Yeah, they were. After a, just a short period of time. and Yeah, then you realise there's a market for people who do the job. Yeah. Right, and who, who give great customer service while they're doing it as well. So there we are. And we ended up here. Ha, 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 ha.